Hello, hello, what's up everybody? I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into our podcast series again and we're at episode six now. I took a little bit of a break really just because I've been so busy lately and haven't had time to really sit down and plan out one of these videos. Um, but today I really just wanted to talk. Like I don't want to really like teach you anything. I really kind of just want to talk about what's on my mind and what I've been learning. And we're going to be talking about the idea of boundaries because I've been learning so much about so many things really, but one of them being boundaries and what they are and how to set them and it's okay to set them. And I say all the time, right, in these podcast episodes that I'm not trying to preach to you in any way, shape, or form. I just, because I've been learning so much, I just feel like my head is exploding with things and information that I want to share with people. And I know that so many of you are also going through similar things that I have, or it's really just being in your 20s and 30s, and we're all just trying to figure it out. And so I just want to have an open conversation with you guys today about boundaries. Also, I just wanted to point out that in my last podcast episode, someone did request that maybe I bring in an external mic because my camera mic just wasn't doing it. And honestly, I agree with you. So I do have a mic here today. So I hope that this sounds a little bit better. So let me know. But okay, let's just jump into it. So one of the things that I have been learning lately that has to do with setting boundaries is protecting my peace and what that looks for me. And it looks different for everybody. But I've been learning what things do I want to allow into my life? What things do I not? And we'll get into that. But first, I looked up, I wrote notes like a good little podcaster, even though I'm not a podcaster at all. But um, I wrote some notes down and I wrote down the actual definition of a boundary. And a boundary is a line that marks the limit of an area. It's a dividing line. So essentially, it's a barrier that protects one side from the other. Now we know that, but I think in talking about it, it's it's kind of cool to start with the actual definition in the English language of what a boundary is. So it's a line or a barrier protecting one side from the other. So for example, our skin is a boundary. Our skin protects our bodies, the inside of our bodies, from external things that they wouldn't mesh really well together. That's just one example. You can, I'm sure, think of many different examples of, of what a boundary is. So the cool thing is, is that as we grow as people and we learn what we like, what we don't like, we get to define what those boundaries are for ourselves and no one can tell you that you're wrong. And so one of the questions I found myself asking myself was, Sam, are you protecting your peace or are you entertaining things that don't serve you? And setting boundaries, it requires self-awareness. It requires you to know who you are. Again, like I said earlier, it requires you to know what you will and won't stand for, what you want in your life and what you don't. So this can go for really anyone in your life. You can have boundaries with a coworker, maybe that you don't know really well and that maybe might be getting a little nosy. Or you can set boundaries, boundaries with friends. For example, if you have friends that live to gossip, right? You can set that boundary and be like, hey, if, if this is the kind of you know discussions you want to have about our other friends like i'm not really i'm not really interested in that that's a boundary you're telling that person don't come to me with those things and that's something that i'm really trying to implement now as i like mature into my late 20s 
that anything that I wouldn't say in front of someone, I am trying my absolute best to just not say it at all to anyone. So that's something that I'm impl- that I'm implementing. So a boundary for me to set up t- t- would be to say, hey, don't include me in the gossip. I don't want to know. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want my name on that, right? A big one for a lot of us in our 20s and 30s, I'm sure, is the topic of dating. I've talked about that on my podcast a little bit, or a lot. Um, what will you accept and what won't you accept? What qualities do you want in a partner? Now, what qualities do you not want in a partner? So for me, an example of protecting my peace lately has been, and this is really like lately, like I, I had like a light bulb and I was like, Sam, why are you entertaining someone when you want a relationship with someone who is also a believer, right? And who shares the same faith. Why are you entertaining guys that don't share that faith, right? And it's nothing about them as people. I'm not saying they're bad people, not at all. But if I know that that's not what I'm looking for, why am I going to even entertain it? Because then it's not going to end well regardless. And then your piece is all kinds of messed up. I've actually recently... um, turned my notifications off on the dating apps that I am on just because I needed a mental break and I needed to protect my peace because my peace was not feeling so peaceful the last couple weeks. The apps can be quite draining Um, and so to protect my peace and to protect my like mental state I was like okay I'm gonna take a little break and it's been quite peaceful. Let me tell you, it's been quite peaceful. So those are just some examples of boundaries, but there can literally be millions of them that you could think of. And if you're a people pleaser like me, it can be really uncomfortable to set boundaries because you feel like you're doing the other person wrong. But the thing that I had to understand was that we're not setting boundaries to reject people or to keep people away. We set boundaries to protect ourselves, right? That's the definition of a boundary. And it's okay to be a little selfish, even though I don't even think it counts as being selfish, but for lack of a better word, it's okay to be a little selfish sometimes when it comes to your peace. And because I know that I have had a history of being a people pleaser, I know that I had this like unhealthy need in the past to be understood and to be validated and to have people always be happy with me and I never wanted them to be upset with me or else I would literally go crazy in my mind. My mind would go into overdrive, I would upset myself and it was just not good for anyone. But now I know that if I have a boundary and something isn't gonna work for me, I don't need to offer you an explanation. I don't and you you don't either when you're setting your own boundaries, you don't need to offer an explanation. If it's something that you're not comfortable with, you're not comfortable with it, and that's it. And let me tell you right now that the people that have problems with you setting boundaries are the ones that benefit when you don't have them. Does that make sense? So the people, if you come to your friend, you say, hey, don't gossip with me, and they have a problem with that, it's because they benefit from you not having that boundary. You know what I mean? So someone who is not okay with you having those boundaries is like, is that really someone that you want around? You know, and I've had, I've had that in the past multiple times with multiple people where I come to you and I say, hey, this makes me uncomfortable. Hey, I don't like this. And they're like, nah, you're just overreacting. It's, that's, that's not respecting a boundary and that's not okay. And I see now that I put up with quite a bit in the past because I had this fear of losing people. Well, one, fear of people not being happy with me or being upset with me, and two, the fear of losing people. And so I was okay with putting up with things that either weren't serving me, that didn't feel respectful, etc etc I was okay with putting up with those things and I would have just dealt with the 
half-hearted apologies if it meant that I didn't have to lose those people because losing people is a really bad feeling for anyone. And so little by little every day, I am learning how to be stronger. And I think this time where I have been single and I've been growing has actually been really good for me because my self-awareness went from like here to like here and I still have so much room to grow beyond that but I am learning what I will and won't accept in 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 relation to a romantic relationship for example if you don't know what your boundaries are if there are none in place then things are just gonna come at you and you won't know that it's not good for you mentally emotionally whatever you won't know that it's not good for you until it's already hit you until it's already happened and i think you know when you're younger that's why a lot of relationships don't work out and friendships too you outgrow a lot of friendships there are plenty of people from high school and college that i don't talk to anymore um and when you're younger you you don't have you don't have that division. You don't have that line. You don't have that protection. So if you take anything away from this video at all, I guess let it just be that you're not being selfish when you put boundaries in place. You're actually being really smart and you're being kind to yourself. And if you are maybe watching this video and you're like, hmm, I don't really know what my boundaries are. To be honest with you, I don't know what all of mine are. Not yet, but my list is growing. And when you figure it out, don't be afraid to put them in place. It's just going to make your life so much more peaceful. So when I do make more time to maybe start dating more again and maybe turn the notifications back on, although it's been really nice to not have them on, um, I'll know, oh, I don't like that, instantly no. Oh, that feels like it's not really respectful for me, instantly no. And I have no problem with walking away. And I know saying walking away sounds so mean. It really does. And it's still, it's still uncomfortable for me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. But you're doing yourself a favor by just protecting your mental health. Because once one thing happens and you don't address it and then another thing happens, it really just starts to snowball. And then after a certain point, that big snowball just smacks you in the face and you're like, <laughs> what just happened? And you kind of have to almost rebuild from scratch a little bit. Um, and I feel like that's what I've had to do. But it's been the biggest blessing for me, I think. Um, and it can be for you too. So don't be afraid to put your boundaries in place. Don't be afraid to explore your mind. Just sit and like reflect if you need to about your wants and the things that you don't want and your dislikes and your likes and, and really put them in place. It's going to be hard and uncomfortable, but I just think in the long run, it's going to be so much more beneficial for us. So I hope this video made sense. I like did have notes, but they were real like skeleton notes. <laughs> and I feel like I kind of talked in circles a little bit, but I hope that this helped a little bit and gave you some sort of encouragement. I was really praying. I was like, Lord, please give me the words to say in this video because I know I want to talk about this topic, but I don't really know what to say. Um, so I feel like I'm not going to really know what I said until I sit down and edit this video. <laughs> but I hope that you guys can leave this video encouraged. And if you have any questions or comments and you want to leave them down below, I look forward to reading them. Thank you guys so much for being here. Episode 7 will be probably in a month or so, but I have a couple of other video ideas that I want to do in between so that this channel isn't just podcasts, but it's like vloggy sort of things too. I'm still working it out. I'm still feeling it out. But um, either way, I will see you soon. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. It would mean the world to me if you subscribed, if you haven't yet. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.